Good evening. <laughs> okay, it's um, it's dark out. Um, just to prove the point, it's kind of dark out. So it's time to go ahead and get the place ready for sleeping. And so I'm going to show you what I go through in the evenings when it's time to get that all prepared as a bed, uh, this couch and whatnot. So one of the things that I do, by the way, that I've already done, so I, I won't take you through it, but what I like to do is get a an old bar rag um, damp and then with my foot I just go back and forth all the way up and down the floor here because you know turns out that this is a pretty dusty rock we live on and um, a lot of that seems to end up on the floor so rather than having you know dust and whatnot on the floor that can get into the bed um, I go and kind of mop up the floor before I put the bed together. So here's the process of making the bed at night. So the first thing I need to do is get my little uh, backrest pillow out of the way. I use this a lot um, when I'm maybe sitting and watching uh, some YouTube or, or some videos or whatever. I just sort of stick that up there in the front seat of the of Joy, and uh, then I go back and grab the um, cushion that's supposed to be here. So I'll bring that over here and put it in place. I'm doing this one-handed, of course. Everything I do on video turns out to be one-handed, kind of. I'm going to put this down in the tripod, though, in order to... And make this work a little bit better. I'm going to keep it up just a little bit so that I don't know if you can see the control panel up here or not. It's behind the blanket here and so I need to just uh, flip over to the page of the display where there's the sofa drive controls and so I'm going to go out. Okay, that's as far out as it goes. So now I need to take the back cushions and get them in here. I have to kind of pull the large seat part out a little bit so that they will fall in. But then it's just a matter of laying them in there. And then make sure it's as tight as I can get it. And that part's done. Then there's a box underneath this seat that pulls out so that I can take the backrest and put it on top of the box and that creates a stable platform for the bottom part of the bed. So what I do is I unsnap the box here and pull it out. You may not be able to see it on the camera here. I'll pull it over here so you can see. So there's this box right here and it goes in and out. I'm just going to pull this out. Make sure I'm not on some shoes that are back here. No, no, it just completely messed up my entryway mat there. Okay, there, that'll work. And then it's a matter of pulling this off the wall. It's just Velcro to the wall and laying it on top here. And that kind of completes the bottom of the bed. It's a little bit weird because that bottom piece is too wide so when you're working with a fitted sheet um, that just kind of it doesn't really work all that well but I make do so now that I have that in place I need to grab my I need to grab my bedroll which is actually just a, a memory foam mattress topper. And I bring that out and put that on top. So I will grab that from back here. And then scooch around here. And just pop off the 
straps that hold it in a roll. And then just kind of fold this up and set it back here on the galley counter for the night. Then turn, put that in place and roll it out. So there we go. Just getting some stuff on here. I don't know where that's all coming from. Um, okay. So now I need to just grab the bedding and we'll put it all together. So first I have a pillow, but I'm going to keep the pillow out of the way because that's just really in the way while I'm putting the sheets and stuff on. So I'll just put it back here in the bathroom for a moment. And then I'm going to grab the bottom sheet and the top sheet and the blanket. And I will put these to the side because we'll just work with the fitted sheet first. And so the fitted sheet has a tag that says top or bottom on it. I don't know if you can read that. Top or bottom. And the, the stupid part about it is that there's one at the other end that says exactly the same thing and looks exactly the same. So you can't really tell which, which one is the top and which one is the bottom. So what I did is I drew a B on, the, on one of them with a Sharpie so that I'd know which one is the top and which one is truly the bottom because I don't want, you know, one night to have the where my feet were up by my uh, head the next night. So I kind of did that to at least make sure that I could tell which one was which. Then uh, what I need to do is just find the corner where that is, the top one. Okay, so there's the upper corner that goes in this corner. So I'm just going to take that and push it down in there and pull it around to this corner. And then pull it down here to this end and grab the other corner. Put it in here. Try to smooth it out as best I can. Again, because this sticks out way far uh, to the to the side, I can't really take the other portion of the the other corner of the fitted sheet and just hook it on that. That's way too far out. So the only thing I can hook it onto is the corner of the memory foam mattress topper. So that's, like I say, it's a little weird, but it's okay, it works. So and then I just try to get it as smoothed out as best I can. So everybody loves a nice smooth uh, bottom sheet, right? Okay, next it's time for the top sheet. So we'll unfold that and find the bottom that goes down here, and the top that goes up here, yep, and then I will floof it out until it kind of goes where it needs to go, pull it up all the way to the top, check on the side to make sure I've got enough overhang, that looks good over there. And then luckily the pattern I can kind of see through, even though it's the non-pattern side that I'm looking at, it still shows through enough to where I can make sure that I'm kind of doing this uh, lined up well. And then what I have to do is just tuck it in over here between the wall and the cushion. And that keeps the bed together. It's just a matter of kind of going down the side here and tucking it in. And at the 
bottom here. Okay, and then make sure that it goes way down here at the end. It almost goes down to the floor, which is good. If I can get it down there. Okay, perfect, sort of. Like I say, it's never it's never a beautiful thing because it's the cushions are a little bit strange. Okay, so then I have uh, this very lightweight fleece-like blanket that I really like because it's really lightweight and um, easy to store. It doesn't take up as much space as maybe a full-size blanket would. But um, yeah, so now it's just a matter of putting this in the right place and floof it out and make sure it's hanging over a correct amount which looks good okay and then it's the same as with the top sheet just want to kind of make sure that it's lined up correctly and then just start tucking it in. Okay. And down here. And then all the way down to the end. drops down all the way rather than just being bunched up in, in a wad back here. Because I can kind of tuck it under here a little bit and that kind of helps to keep it together overnight. And then I also just kind of tuck it up under the mattress topper right there. And that usually keeps it together. And then what I do in order to get ready to go ahead and hop in is I just pull that open. I grab my um, regular pillow and put that over here for a moment because then I usually bring back my, my little backrest pillow and put it right here so that I can Pull the TV down and maybe uh, watch a little TV uh, before uh, going off to bed. So that's the that's the whole thing. That's uh, that's what I do every single night uh, to get ready to um, go to sleep and in, enjoy the uh, the night. Uh, rest and uh, get ready for the next day. So hope you found this uh, fascinating and entertaining. Uh, and if not, you can leave me a comment uh, uh, telling me what you'd really rather see. Uh, okay, have a good one. We'll talk to you all later.